Hi, welcome back again. So the year 2011 was a very crucial year in the development of my artwork and also my jewelry. And having said that, I have two amazing people that played a major role. I'm going to start with Victor Binge. Victor Binge is an amazing artist and also a great friend. So having gone to the same university and pursuing fine art, we made a great partnership with Victor Binge and during the long holidays, we could create jewelry and also some small uh, versions of small paintings, which we called tourist paintings. And we could go around curio shops around Hilton Hotel. At the ground floor, we had uh, like two curio shops. And also we could go to Westlands right at the roundabout and also also try city market which which has lots of curio shops and also we had other curio shops alongside biashara street where we could go and try and sell our art which was challenging at times because um the pricing and the appreciation was not really there but having said that i remember 2011 as a great victory year in in that we got our first professional exhibitions as students. Thank you so much to the National Museums of Kenya. We got our first show at the Nairobi Gallery, having exhibited at an exhibition titled the Kanga Exhibition. And also we had another exhibition at uh, the museum. Having said that, I also want to thank Payapa Gallery for believing in us because in that time, not so many galleries and curators would accept artwork from students. But we persisted, we persisted every single time. We knocked at doors and we got an exhibition at Payapa. I think it was the, um, the African month, the, the Black History Month, either that or a different exhibition. So those were our first two exhibitions as students and that really pushed up our confidence and belief that we can make it as artists even though we were still students we tried everywhere you know we could I, I remember us frequently going to gallery watatu which was in the CBD so they had a rotating exhibition I think every month every month or every two weeks so Every time we could go and see artwork and on one occasion we decided uh, with Victor and I think um, next time we go we can go with our uh, portfolios. So we printed out our portfolios of our drawings and paintings and that was very exciting even though we did not get a chance to exhibit but that aspect of believing that we can exhibit at, at such a huge gallery was great. Having um, the experience that I had in 2010 of losing my jewelry, I decided to go again and I also kind of inducted Binge into my recycled jewelry. So we could go out in Gikomba buying old belts, getting the beads from, me, from, from, from them and also buying old clothes, ripping buttons and we started developing a certain style of jewelry that was unique because most people were using beads from shops but we decided to use something that will make our work stand out so having used Maasai beads so now I was mixing it up and in in the work that I've done in 2011 you'll notice that I've started to add pendants into my work and that helped me a lot in developing my jewelry to where I am right now. So the second person that played a major role in this is the amazing Nduta Karaoke. Nduta Karaoke is a great friend and we also attended the same university and did the same course. So uh, I'm not sure if it's this year or 2012 that um, we partnered with Nduta and we could go around high schools painting uh, backdrops, um, uh, drama festival backdrops. 
And I remember us to go into different schools, even up country. And that was a great hustle. And we got some money to uh, push our artwork and get going. But most importantly, what I remember and the great impact that Nduta had on my jewelry journey is that she donated uh, the first batch of foreign coins and that's where my love for, for using coins in my jewelry came from. In addition to that, she also donated uh, shells, um, coastal shells, you know, scraps of shells, you know, cowrie shells, a whole collection of shells. And that inspired my work in 2011. So, Nduta Mahali sana. Thank you so much. God bless you. And Binge, Mungu akuzidishie. Asante sana. And right now, Binge, Binge and Nduta are amazing artists. They are amazing painters. Nduta has taken portraiture to a whole new level. And Binge has an amazing style that is very original. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me leave you behind with the slideshow of my 2011 jewelry collection. Enjoy! <music> much guys for watching i hope i see you next week for my 2012 jewelry collection and journey if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing down below and thank you so much for your support until next time bye bye